Hey guys, this is Coach Putter. In this video, you're going to learn how to unblock your nose 100% naturally. First, we're going to talk about what causes nasal congestion in the first place, and then I'm going to show you a very, very powerful breathing tool that will unblock your nose within a couple of minutes. Nasal congestion can be something that can be very, very debilitating, and especially if this is happening at nighttime and you're not able to breathe through your nose at nighttime and you're breathing through your mouth, your sleep quality is very, very likely to be very compromised, and you're also very likely to snore, and you're also very likely to suffer from obstructive sleep apnea. And if you want to learn more about those, you should check out the other video that I have done where I explore non-invasive home solutions to both snoring and obstructive sleep apnea. One of the reasons why your nose might be blocked and it's hard to breathe through your nose is if you have a physical obstruction. And while we obviously can't fix a completely deviated septum, I'm going to cover some tools later on that can really help you and that can activate some of the muscles that actually can all open up and dilate the airway so it can be easier for you to breathe through your nose. But if you have a really severely deviated septum, that is something you're going to have to deal with with the help of a licensed physician and with the help of your doctor. Allergies are another major source of nasal congestion. So dust and pollen are obviously major contributors to that. And a really good strategy with them is just to become really aware of like how, where are you experiencing nasal congestion? Are you experiencing when you're outside? Are you experiencing it when you're inside? If it's only happening inside, well, maybe, maybe then you have to put a little bit more effort into your vacuuming and into your cleaning and changing your sheets. Make sure you give your, all your sheets a good dose of sunlight because sunlight can really help to get rid of some of the dust and some of the other allergens that like to hang out in your bed sheets and keep you up at night time. A lot of people don't realize that food allergies and food sensitivities are another major source of excessive mucus production. So if you're eating foods that you might like, but unfortunately they don't like you, that's causing irritation in your gut, it's causing inflammation in your gut, and this is leading to excessive mucus production, which can then lead to excessive nasal congestion. So especially if you're experiencing a blocked nose at nighttime, you should be very aware, what did you eat during the day? And write down exactly what did I eat during the day? And see if you can identify some specific foods that might be causing you some problems. So I would recommend to pay extra attention to common allergens such as dairy, gluten, nuts, soy, and actually the whole FODMAP family. So the FODMAP family includes foods that are very, very healthy for us, like things like garlic that can be very, very healthy for a lot of people. But for other people, it will cause massive disruption to their guts because it's overfeeding certain types of bacteria in your guts. So with this thing, you really want to listen to your gut and you really want to become aware of are you eating something that could be causing your nasal congestion at nighttime and during the day. So now that we've explored the possible causes for nasal congestion, let's go through a very effective exercise that's going to very, very quickly unblock your nose 100% naturally. I want to say the caveat though, that if you're someone who is pregnant, or if you have very high or low blood pressure, you should not do this exercise and you should consult your physician before doing any kind of breathing activities. So here's what I want you to do. We're going to be breathing through the nose and we're going to be doing some breath holds after the exhalations. So let me show you one. I'm going to take in through the nose, out through the nose, after the exhale, pinch, start nodding your head. So you're going to hold your breath until you experience like a medium air hunger. And this is something that will develop over time. So when you get to that medium air hunger, I want you to unblock your nose. I want you to inhale as slowly as possible. And then I want you to exhale as slowly as possible. And then I want you to just breathe through your nose. So we're going to take about 30 second break here. 
So when you're breathing right now, I just want you to let your breathing settle into whatever rhythm it wants to settle into. And I want you to really make that inhalation and the exhalation as silent as possible. So now we're going to take a silent inhale, then a silent exhale. After the silent exhale, pinch your nose, start nodding your head and hold your breath. And I want you to hold your breath until you can experience a medium to pretty strong hunger for air. So that's just like a very strong feeling. Okay, now you've got to stop the breath hold and you have to take in the breath. And I want you to inhale as slowly and as silently as possible. So try not to breathe in like this, more like this. Take a breath in and breath out. And then just let your breathing settle into whatever rhythm it wants to settle into. So now I'll give you a bonus tip, and this is very important for people who have a little bit of deviated septum, because the muscle activation of the mu facial muscles, this can also influence the dilation of the airway. So you can try this. If you put your fingers here onto your cheekbones and you spread apart, is it easier or harder to breathe through the nose? It should be easier to breathe through the nose, right? We're actually dilating the, the nasal passages there. So check this out. You can also do it by activating these smiling muscles right here. And it's important. It's the muscles that actually pull your cheeks up. So it's not the ones that pull your cheek down. So you got to do it like this. Not like this. A lot of people smile with these muscles and it, it looks a bit funny, but it's also very inefficient for actually activating these muscles right here that can open up nasal passages. So let's incorporate that with this next repetition. Take a silent inhale through the nose, silent exhale through the nose. After the exhale, pinch your nose, start holding your breath and nodding your head. This time I want you to push a little bit further than you've gone with the last two reps. So I want you to keep holding your breath and when you get to a medium, the strong hunger for air, I want you to unblock your nose, inhale slowly and just smile only using these muscles. And you can even give yourself a little bit of a help. And then exhale nice and silently and just let the breath settle into whatever pace it wants to settle into. So what we're doing here is obviously we're, you know, we're dialing, we're using the ability to flare your nostrils and open up the airways. What we're also doing here is that we are in, in, incorporating nasal nitric oxide. So nitric oxide is this gas that is always pooling in the nasal cavities. And this is one of the main benefits of nasal breathing over mouth breathing, because nitric oxide, it's a vasodilator. So that means that it opens up the blood vessels and it improves oxygen delivery and uptake to all the cells inside your body. And it's also bronchodilator. So that means that it can open up the bronchioles and it can actually open up the airways and it can make it easy for you to breathe and it will also help to decongest your nose. So we're going to do two more repetitions here. So now it's time again to go. So take a breath in through the nose, breath out through the nose. After the exhale, pinch your nose, start nodding your head. And this time I want you to really push it. I want you to push further than what you've done with our last two repetitions. So I want you to keep pushing it, keep relaxing into the sensation of air hunger. So you might even get to about, you know, 20 to a 30 second breath hold here. And after that, once again, you're going to unblock your nose, inhale as silently as you can, and then exhale as silently as you can. So another thing that we can incorporate here, which makes this exercise very, very beneficial for your health, is the ability to tolerate carbon dioxide. Because carbon dioxide is the primary stimulus that gives us the urge to breathe. It's not the lack of oxygen, but it's actually the rise 
of carbon dioxide. So if you're someone who tolerances carbon dioxide is very poor, you're going to experience that air hunger very quickly and you probably can't hold your breath for, for very long. And you're also likely to breathe very fast and shallowly at all points in time. Your breathing is very irregular probably and it's probably very hard for you to exercise because you experience very high levels of breathlessness when you exercise. On the flip side, if you're ability to carbon, tolerate carbon dioxide is higher. Now you're someone whose breathing is nice and calm, your breathing is nice and relaxed. You can probably tolerate higher levels of exercise. And this is very important because how you breathe at any point in time is a direct reflection of what's going on with your autonomic nervous system. So fast and shallow breathing means that your autonomic nervous system's arousal levels are increased and you're in a state of stress. On the flip side, slow, deep, calm breathing means that your autonomic nervous system's arousal levels are very low and that you are someone who probably finds it pretty easy to fall asleep. You probably don't stress too much. So let's do one more repetition together here. You're going to take a breath in through the nose, breath out through the nose. After the exhale, you're going to pinch your nose, hold your breath and keep nodding your head up and down. And this time, this is the last rep we're doing together. I want you to keep going for as long as you can. I want you to really try to relax into that sensation of air hunger here. And I want to, want to see if you can really push yourself a little bit further with this last repetition. So it should be a little bit uncomfortable, actually quite a bit uncomfortable, that sensation of air hunger. And that's just carbon dioxide levels increasing. Your brain is detecting, ooh, carbon dioxide is increasing. And depending on your tolerance to carbon dioxide is very quickly or then after some period of time, it's going to give you the urge to breathe to get rid of that built up carbon dioxide. So then you unblock your nose, inhale slowly, exhale slowly. So if you've done this exercise with me for five repetitions now, you should already feel that your nose is getting a little bit clear. And if it hasn't worked yet, you might have to do a couple more repetitions, but this exercise is absolutely foolproof. Unless you have some kind of physical obstruction, it will help you to breathe through your nose, 100% guaranteed. If you want to learn more and if you want to truly harness the power of all the breathing tools that exist in your body that can really accelerate you on your wellness journey by improving the way that you move, improving the way that you breathe, improving your energy levels, improving your ability to focus and improving your ability to tolerate stress, you should check out the Breathing Foundations course. The Breathing Foundations course is a very comprehensive resource for anyone who wants to unlock their best performance, both mentally and physically. I'm going to put the link to that just here below the show notes right here in the description box. So make sure to check it out. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and please share it with someone who's always walking around with their nose blocked or if it's your partner and they're always snoring at nighttime and their nose is always blocked at nighttime, please share this video with them and let them benefit them from the video as well. Thank you so much for watching. This is Coach Puder. Let's do this.